Today is a little bit more of a relaxing type video. The past week I've been talking a lot about designer fragrances. I've been giving a lot of energy, high energy, because that's what designer fragrances kind of have to evoke. You know, exciting, confidence, high energy. And now I want to talk about some niche fragrances. since We talked about so much designers before. And this is quite a nostalgic topic for me because these are fragrances that I used to wear a lot of and have a lot of great memories of, but I don't wear them as often anymore. So. Let's get right into them. Now the first fragrance is Armani Code, the original. I used to wear this a lot throughout college. I got it as a gift, it was a very special thing. And I just wore it to death. It was my signature scent for a very, very long time. A lot of fond memories of the bar with that scent and a lot of fond memories at school and just generally everywhere. It's a very all-purpose scent. I love wearing it. It smells so me. I remember when I first smelled it and that was when I was kind of new to fragrances still. I wasn't a fragrance like, a expert yet i guess and it just smells so good it smells so me kind of a little bit dark mysterious fun playful at the same time and it just felt like it was amazing and the people around me really really loved it as well and no one complained everyone loved the smell off me it was just overall a great time now i don't own that bottle anymore the original bottle is actually with my girlfriend now she has it back up in alaska with her and she loves it every time she smells it she thinks of me so there you go that's why she has the bottle and i don't have it here anymore Next fragrance we have Izzy Miyagi's Loaded Say Perome Intense. I don't have this bottle as well, but I used to wear this a lot, a lot, a lot when I first got into fragrances. It's actually my third bottle that I ever owned was yeah, Izzy Miyagi's Loaded Say Perome Intense. When I first smelled it, I was blown away. I was like, fragrances can smell like this because this was heavy incense, super heavy incense fragrance and super woody as well. And at the time I was thinking like, wow, it's so unique, it's so different because at that time, all I've ever smelled was like sweet fragrances or fresh fragrances. And to smell something that is like heavy, heavy incense and totally blew my mind on how a fragrance can smell. It really kind of opened my palate a lot to trying out a lot of different things. I think those that's one of the fragrances that really got me started on the journey of discovering tons more fragrances because it literally just blew me away. And and I used to wear it a lot to class, to any type of event where I want to wear something a little bit more high class, I'll put that on because it's just really, really regal and formal. That's what I felt like. I felt mysterious, formal. I felt like a cool guy at the bar kind of thing. And it was just cool. Like I didn't know a fragrance can give off such different vibes and I was overall impressed with that fragrance. I don't have it anymore. I don't know where the original bottle went. I didn't finish it, but I have no clue where it went. So I went ahead yesterday actually and ordered myself another one to see if it still has the same magic or not. So I, I'm waiting for that thing to arrive just to kind of see for myself. All right, one more designers and then we're gonna talk about the niche. This one was my all time favorite scent. One of my all time favorite Hallmark scents I wore throughout the times. And I wear this one probably the most, in the top five most worn fragrances throughout the years. And I have stopped wearing it the past recent years only. And this one is Halloween Man by Jesus Del Pozo, which is a clone of 1 million. But at the time I didn't know it was a clone of 1 million because I didn't even know what 1 million was. I knew the bottle, I've seen it, I just haven't smelled it. But when I got this bottle, when I smelled this for the first time, it's almost like how I imagine how it would be for you guys when you guys smell 1 million for the first time. You guys remember that, the opening, so juicy, so rich, so gourmandish, it just hits you like a bomb. You're like, whoa, this is an amazing, amazing fragrance. That's how I felt about this thing. I thought at the time that it was just so juicy. It was so amazing. And I wore it so much. I wore it throughout the college time. I wore it through a lot of the uh, girlfriends. <laughs> Actually, this is one of the fragrances that uh, all, like my current girlfriend right now, and a lot of my ex-girlfriend associate me with is Halloween Man. If I'm able to go back and ask all of them, what fragrance they remember most from me is probably gonna be this one because it just smells so good. I wear it all the time. And girls love it. Girls really, really do love it. At the bar, this was my go-to scent for college for the bar time and it works extremely well every single night that I wear it. Every time I'm really drunk and I'm dancing with a girl that's also really drunk, it was amazing, <laughs> all right? They love it. They get a lot closer to me, which is really, really cool. And um, yeah, it's just really good. It's still really good today. It's $20, I believe, online, so you can still definitely grab it. If you're in high school, if you're in college, just go ahead, wear whatever you want, dude. Don't worry too much about smelling the same as the other guy because believe me, in high school or college, not a lot of people are wearing actual fragrance. They're wearing like body sprays or, you know, really 
nice smelling deodorant. A lot of them are probably not even wearing fragrance in general. So don't be afraid, just, you know, wear Halloween Man. It just works for me. It worked for me really, really well. So, you know, it'll work for you guys as well. Moving on to the niche category now, this is the third niche bottle, third or fourth niche bottle that I ever gotten for myself. This one is Fifth Delicious by Christian Dior. Now this is an old, old school Imagine Scent favorite. If you watch my channel since 2016, you would know that this has been with me for quite a long time. I love this scent so much, the Tonka Bean. I'm actually gonna spray it right now for nostalgia's sake. It's just so good. Tonka bean, heaven, it's delicious, it's decadent. I used to wear this a lot more when I was in Alaska where it was more appropriate to wear it. Because you know, in Alaska, it is quite cold up there most of the time of the years and a scent like this, rich, gourmandish, kind of warm, inviting, sexy scent works really, really well in the fall and winter and just cold weather in general. So I wore this one a lot more when I was over there. And since I moved to Vegas in 2017, I just haven't been wearing it as much because it's just so damn hot here. <laughs> There's just no good time to wear it, but I still really, really love it. My girlfriend absolutely loves this one. This is one of our cuddle scents. So we, we wear this together sometimes. We cuddle, we watch a movie, and it works out really well. We both love it on each other. And it's a good couple scent. If you have a girlfriend who also are into sweet scents, gourmand scents, this is a really good couple scent to have at home. And I might actually make a video on that. Great sense for couples to have at home. Sounds like a good topic. But yeah, Fabulous Shoes, one of my most favorite good months of all time. Sad that I don't wear it as much anymore. There's just no good time to wear it here in uh, the desert of Las Vegas. <laughs> Next one I have here is Oud Satin Mood by Maison Francis Cook John. You gotta notice a really big theme here, moving on to the last two fragrances, is that they're all winter fragrance. And that's because, again, I moved from Alaska to Las Vegas. A very drastic change in temperature really changed my whole fragrance wardrobe. Stuff that I used to wear a lot, I can't wear here anymore quite as often. And this one is sadly the biggest thing that's affected by that moving factor, the weather factor. This one is such a strong fragrance, it's a very bomb of a fragrance lasts 12 plus hours, dare I say even like maybe 24 hours. It's so, so strong and one spray would do you really, really good. It actually did too well of a job a lot of the times I wear it, it's just literally too strong. So imagine that, it is already kind of too strong in cold Alaska here, there's like absolutely no chance to wear it. I've worn this fragrance maybe only twice ever since I moved to Las Vegas and both of the times it's just been at home. But back to the memories of this fragrance. I used to wear this a lot to work, believe it or not. Yeah, to work. I used to work at a school back in Alaska and my coworkers just like this, the students like it, so I wear it almost all the time exclusively for work and it got me a lot of compliments. If you watch my most complimented videos, this is in the top five. I'm not gonna tell you where it is in the top five. You gotta go watch the video yourself, but it's in the top five most complimented fragrance of all time because I did wear it so often. And the reason you see the juice still near the top is because I only really need half a spray each time. I would like barely try to squirt it on like my neck <laughs> to wear because like one spray is too much literally. So yeah, moving down here to Las Vegas, absolutely no chance to wear it. And it's quite sad because I really do love this scent. If I were to rank top 10 most favorite smell just by scent alone, this is definitely in it for top 10 for sure. So yeah, Maison Francis Kirkjohn, Oud Satin Mood, one of my favorites. All right, one more fragrance from Alaska. This one is Coco Blanc by the House of Matriarch. Now this one used to be my number one fragrance. If you guys watched my channel back in 2016, you know that. This was my number one favorite. I've said once before that if I can take a bath, in any fragrance, it would be this one. And it still kind of holds true today. I still quite like the smell. It's still really, really beautiful. White chocolate, sandalwood spices. It's very, oh, it has so much nostalgic memory for me. I, I, used to, I used to love this fragrance so, 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 so much, but I haven't really worn it a lot since I moved here. And I really don't know why that is. I, think it's because it is the weather, but then again, this fragrance is quite weak. It doesn't project as strong. So it would be fine to wear in the fall and winter time here, but I haven't really been gravitating towards grabbing it. And I think that has to do with just the amount of fragrance that I've acquired after I moved here. My collection was at about maybe 80 bottles when I was in Alaska, and now it's over 200 something bottle. So I've more than doubled my collection since I moved here and with more options to wear, more options to try out, I haven't really been gravitating towards wearing something like this that I used to love so much yet. Maybe I'll start wearing it more in the future, maybe not, but this one, in terms of scent, if you love gourmand fragrance, is still one of the best gourmand fragrance out there. Definitely one of the most unique gourmand fragrance out there for sure. The white chocolate here is 
be fine. All right, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Share down below which fragrances you used to wear a lot, but not so much anymore, and why. Bonus for if you tell me why you don't wear it anymore. And with that said, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Peace and bye.